pace. I'm telling you, they're moving this groove up. They're moving it up and finding a lot of speed. Still a lot of cars on the bottom of three and four, but a lot of people, especially from like fourth, fifth on back in the field, using the top of this racetrack at both ends. I love it, man. This place, I'm telling you, when they talked about bringing us back to Nashville Super Speedway, I was unsure because it had been in the past a single groove racetrack. It has been nothing but that for all of its existence. And now, look at this racetrack, how wide it is, how incredible the racing is now. So much fun to watch, Dave. So much fun to watch. Hosovar way up in the high line there, but he knows the track since last night. He was a truck series winner. I know the vehicles are very different, but I wanted to know about track knowledge when I talked to him today. He said, absolutely. I feel a lot more confident about where to put the 77 car today because I knew where to put the 42 truck last night. And you can see him right there. He was higher than anybody else that last time by through one and two. I don't know if asphalt ages like we talk about or uh, concrete ages in the way that asphalt does. You know, asphalt racetracks wear out, get wore out, cars wide, you know, the groove widens out. I don't know about concrete. We don't have enough of those racetracks to really know the truth about that. But the resin that they put down on this racetrack from the bottom to the top, I believe, is what makes the racing here so great. Osovar's taking a new line. Uh, it's not dark up there. He's a, trying to go in an area that people haven't been yet as we're on the final lap of stage one. Out front of this field, there's the 19 on the top of your screen, Ty Gibbs. Steve, you mentioned at the top of the show, there have been 11 different winners in the last 11 races. And by the way, Ty Gibbs is not one of those. So as he's out front here in stage one and looks as though he's going to win stage one pretty handily, he could be throwing his name into the hat for possibly making it 12 for 12. He'll take stage one and the win, Cole Custer. Finishing second in that stage third stage win already this year Just his fourth start for Ty 